Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to connect a cable box to a TV. As you can see right here, I have a cable box which is on the top over here and I also have a TV which is over here. I'm going to show you the very simple process for connecting the two together. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your cable box is plugged in to an electrical power outlet, to a power source. So as you can see over here, the cable box is indeed plugged into a power source. The next two steps are for connecting it to a TV, okay? So what you want to do is you want to provide the cable signal to the actual cable box. So there should be a cable in port. And I'm sorry about the poor lighting under here, but right here it says cable in. I'm going to try and get a closer view. It says cable in. So this is the port for th that will allow the cable that comes from the wall to provide a cable signal to the actual cable box. So I'm going to plug the cable from the wall, the coaxial cable from the wall, into this port right here. I'm actually just going to put the camera down just like this so that you guys can get a better view. But this is the cable that the coaxial cable that comes from the from the wall that is providing the cable signal to the cable box. So I'm just going to go ahead and twist it in place right over here. Let's just go ahead and really twist it nice and tightly onto this port over here. All right, let's get it in place nice and tightly. Almost done. All right, so now that the cable is in there nice and tightly, the next thing that we want to do is we want to take that cable signal that is in the cable box and we want to send it to the TV. So basically, you're going to be looking for an output port, okay, a video and audio output port on the cable box, and then you're going to look for a video and audio input port on the TV. Now there are a few different options <clears throat> depending on um, your cable box but you might have some uh, some AV options like these right here. You might have an S video option which is right over there or you might have an HDMI port. For this video I will be using the HDMI port. So basically I want to plug this, I want to get an HDMI cable and plug it into here because this is the output of the cable box and I want to get the other end of the HDMI cable and plug it into here because this is the input on the TV. I'll just try and get a better view right over there. One of these two ports over here. So we have an HDMI cable right over here and I'm going to start off by taking one end and plugging it into the cable box. So I'm just going to take this end. We're going to plug it into the cable box just like that. It goes in there nice and easily and then I'm going to take the other end of the HDMI port and I'm going to plug it into the input of the TV. Okay, so it's going from the output of the cable box to the input of the TV. And I'm trying to balance the camera right here just as I plug this in, but I'm just going to plug this into the HDMI 1 port right here. Okay, just like that. It's literally that simple. As you can see, I just plugged it in right over there. Now it's literally that simple. Just when you um, are, are turning your TV on, make sure you have the TV to the setting that is programmed with that specific port and you should be good to go. In this video, I've shown you how to connect the cable box to a TV. It's a really simple process. Just to recap, make sure that your cable box is plugged into an electrical power source. Then you're going to take the cable, the coaxial cable from the wall, plug it into the cable box to send the cable signal to the box. And then to transfer the signal from the box to the TV, we're just going to use a cord to connect the box to the TV. It's literally that simple. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.